Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Heartland. I am so glad to be here with you, boys and girls. And you too, Rue. Hi, Mickey Mouse. I'm, I'm so glad to be here too. And guess what? This weekend, I made some money cleaning out my garage. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's pretty cool, Rue. What are you going to do with all that money? Um, you know, Rue, there are many smart and responsible ways to use that money. I guess so, but I don't want to make any mistakes. Hiding it in a, in a hole seems like the best idea. Well, okay, you know what? Why don't we go visit Farmer Joey? I think today's lesson might help you out just a bit. Come on, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand. Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning in to Heartland today. Oh, man, that's so confusing. Oh, it's making my head hurt. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, hey, Chad. How are you doing, dude? Oh, hey, Farmer Joey. I'm just a little confused about the Bible story. Oh, really? Wait, what was your Bible story about this week? Well, there was a guy who buried something and it didn't grow. <laughs> okay, I, I think I know what story you're talking about. So, what are you confused about? Well, how do you bury a talent and how does it grow? <laughs> so... Uh, do you know what a talent is? Oh, yeah. It is when you know how to do something special, like singing or playing baseball. Yeah. Well, so yes, those are talents too. But in the Bible story, a talent is actually money. Oh, okay. So I guess that is why it didn't grow when the guy buried it. But then why was the master angry? <laughs> so... Now, before I answer that question, how about you go read the story again, right? And then um, you'll understand a little bit more what a talent is. And then come on back and we can talk about it and see if it makes more sense. Oh, okay. I can do that. And maybe it will make some more sense. All right. I'll come back a little bit later. Bye, right. Farmer Joey. Bye, Jad. <laughs> Boys and girls, you know, Jesus is trying to teach the people that we should follow and obey him. So while we wait for Chad to get back, how about we sing about that letter that God has sent us? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us, and we can read it every day. And what is that letter called, boys and girls? That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God 
He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me. He hears when I pray. And all of his stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey. And good morning, boys and girls. Please tell us something from God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet. You must listen to him. Deuteronomy 18, verse 15. Okay, boys and girls, let's read this week's Bible verse and repeat after me. Also remember, you can always practice it with your mom and dad too. The Lord your God... The Lord your God will raise up, will raise up for you a prophet, for you a prophet. You must listen to him. You must listen to him. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. The Lord your God, the Lord your God will raise up, will raise up for you a prophet. For you, a prophet, you must listen to him. You must listen to him. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. 1815. 1815. Great job. Jesus taught the people about happiness. Yes, he did, Bible. Jesus wants everyone to be happy. And to be happy, people should believe that Jesus is God's son. Exactly. That is so right, Bible, right? Jesus is God's son, and he was sent here to save us. He was sent to save people, and that should make them very happy and believe in him. Exactly. Boys and girls, when you know and love Jesus and want to serve him as Lord, you will find so much happiness in your heart. Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls about how God wants us to find happiness in His Son, Jesus. Wow! I know, in the Bible story today, the master was angry at the servant who hid his money. That's a little strange. Uh, at least he was keeping it safe. Well, let's think about it. Jesus told this story to help people understand God's kingdom and how to serve Him. Not necessarily, Rue. It's a good thing to save money, but there are ways that God wants us to serve Him using the money He gives us. Oh, our perfect ID! Right, we need to follow and obey God, even with our money. Okay, let's, let's go see if that boy Chad figured out why his master was so angry. Let's go, boys and girls. Farmer Joey! Farmer Joey! <laughs> hey, Chad. Hey, Farmer Joey. I reread the story, and I think I understand it better. But there's still one part I don't understand. Awesome. Okay, well, so let's talk about what you do understand. Okay, so now that I know a talent is money, I can see why the master was happy with the two guys, because that made him more money. Huh. Very good, Chad. So, uh, do you understand why he wasn't happy with the third man? Oh, well, I guess so. That man didn't make any money, but he also didn't spend it. So, isn't that a good thing, too? Well, true. I mean, it was good that he didn't spend it, but he was supposed to do good with it. Okay, so here's the part I don't understand. Okay. Why did Jesus tell the story about money? Well, it wasn't supposed to be about money. See, the story is about what would happen if people do not follow and obey God, like the man who was sent away, right? If we do not follow Jesus like God wants, then we'll be separated from them too. And one way to obey God is to tell others about Jesus, right? Yes, it is. And helping the church grow. Oh, so Jesus talked about money like giving an offering. Well, yes, that is one way, right? But also using our talents like singing to the Lord, talking to others about Jesus, 
showing kindness, and pointing others to him, right? These are other ways that we can do things that God wants from us. This was a tough Bible story this week, Farmer Joey, but I am glad you helped me understand it. I'm going to go tell the other kids that they don't need to dig up their toys. Bye, Farmer Joey. <laughs> Bye, Chad. Oh, man. <laughs> also. Boys and girls, you know, there are so many ways for us to show God that we love and want to serve his son, Jesus, as our Lord. The best way is to show others love and to point them to Jesus. Well, I think it's time to use our best singing voices to sing to God. Remember, boys and girls, all our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned that Jesus wants everyone to believe in him and serve him as Lord. Our big idea this week is this. Jesus is the perfect prophet because God speaks to us through Jesus. Jesus taught everyone that to know and worship him forever will make them happy. So, Boys and girls, let's repeat this week's portion of the Bible verse and make sure you say it as awesome as you can. The Lord your God, the Lord your God, will raise up, will raise up for you a prophet, for you a prophet, you must listen to him, you must listen to him. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18.15. 1815. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Thank you for showing us. Thank you for showing us. That true happiness is found. That true happiness is found. In your son, Jesus. In your son, Jesus. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's tell your mom and dad just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. You know, I am so glad you came to that conclusion, Rue. You can serve God with it. You see, those who belong to God are those who do a good job with what they are given. To those people, God will say, well done. It's all making sense now. You're right. God wants us to listen to Jesus' teaching and follow him. 
Exactly, Rue. Today's story helped us understand what will happen on the last day when Jesus returns. God will say, well done to all of those who love and follow Jesus. Boys and girls, there are so many ways that you can obey God. We can make an offering, be loving, and most of all, we can tell others about Jesus. Yeah.